Okay, next we play Chicken Police. New game. Dead men are heavier than broken hearts. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting old. My name is Sonny. Sonny Featherland. An investigator for 20 years. And once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department. One half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Chicken police well paint in red. Respect. We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. What could possibly go wrong? Floral City, Rogue District, former Atlas Hotel. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes. Older than this ancient building, and perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time. So I had to give her a chance. Okay. Typewriter. Deep whiskey. Out of paper's phone. Pictures. Oh, light switch. Bedroom door. Seek. Look. Who is this dame anyway? And what the cluck is she doing in my apartment on New Year's Eve? Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah. Miss Deborah Ibanez. Hmm. Yeah, hello. In German we say Deborah. So, Miss Deborah Ibanez. Wow, yeah. I will you pronounce the name, but, but this would be Deborah. You're mistaken, ma'am. I have to click that all the time? Skip out to play here. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip, uh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't... I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one. 
and it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? If you insist. But bourbon, please. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. What a coincidence. So come on, spill it from the beginning. No, what's the story? That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats, exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. I think it's time to dig a little deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Please, that's why I'm here. You have to click all the time. Question? Focus on what you know about the subject. Is he or she suspicious? Concentrate on that. Subject John Doe. The fella is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate on that. Focus suspicious. Impression. Active meter. And now? Yes. He is suspicious. I am suspicious. Why are you suspicious? Gather impressions from, su from the subject. Every impression adds a new question line. Impressions. New impression, question one, two, three, four. So many options. Detective meter is your best friend. It shows how well the questioning is going. Keep it to the on the positive side, okay? Oh yeah. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently. And when the time comes, we can go in hard. Who exact exactly are you, ma'am? Who exactly are you, ma'am? I'm... I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me. Can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. New clue. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Yeah, not very confident. Are you sure you are all right? Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills? Flowerville, maybe. Look, I... I don't want to answer that. I'm here on behalf of my employer, and not on personal business. Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. Stop fly playing the frightened phrase, sunshine, and start singing. Sounds not so nice. Why did you have to visit me on this particular evening? Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ibanez. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important to you. A message in itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment, even if it wasn't meant as such. Did you even know what you want? Why did you come to visit me? Why did you come to visit me? Why? Why, why not your what do they want? What, as my question is, my what should we do? And what do they want from us? She hasn't been leaving her home lately. Cats and she really has to. <laughs> I first like cats and claw. You know, Miss cat Natasha toilet. Is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages, and everyone knows who she is. So she's that kind of woman. 
I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Hmm. What exactly did you expect by coming here to meet me? Boy, what are you what do you want from me? How did you get this address? What exactly did you expect by coming here to meet me? I expected your help. Just like my mistress said. Oh, that's very nice. But have you seen this neighborhood? Have you seen this wreck called a hotel? Who were you hoping to find in a place like this? Someone reliable. Well, I am reliable. And discreet? That's right. And thorough? No question about that. And has a heart of gold? Okay, let's stop it right there. Are you in some sort of jam? Do you think you're cut off this work? Let's pretend you never found me here, okay? This is I can't take the case. Do you think you're cut out for this kind of work? Not in the slightest. Then why all of this? I just can't say no to Natasha. Would she hurt you if you did? No, of course not. She's my friend. I see. Yes, the, her employee is um, the cat, or which we saw in the trailer, I guess. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino, I'll explain everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. If you won't come clean, what's the point of all this? Why should I believe you at all? But we don't know anything yet, Udo. Tell me, Deborah. Why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. <laughs> Smart answer. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him... Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Exactly. Feathery gods, help me. So you get it now. The secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. We are true detective. Questions asked 9, focus accuracy 90%. Final thoughts, the legendary chicken police back in action. Still a bit weary, but untarnished good work. The employee, Natasha's current significant other, is the infamous gangster Eben Wessler. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. So now we have an inventory. The notebook. The notebook is the detective's best friend. Here you gather vital information about the case, the suspects or victims, and the locations you will visit. How does it work? Click on any text or picture in your notebook to read the translated version in your language. Pick 
victim, a lady, is the target of some strange threats. All of them are written. Mysterious messenger, Miss Deborah, is a certain Miss. Blah blah. I yeah, really it looked like Katzenklo almost, yeah. Okay. People. Active hang. Rank Greenhorn. Hmm. Inventory. Here we'll store all essential items throughout the case. I know Molly very well. Please. I know ah. Molly very well. That's nice. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. N. Yeah, it's really nice that you can do its voice and everything. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby, the waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Mr. Featherland? Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand, don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? <laughs> Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? She's singing, you no, know? She's really not like that. But she owns the place. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Twenty years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. New person info. This is... Uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me and took our daughter. The good things in life don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it. Or what it had to do with shoes. I don't even know what these papers are. Thank you again, Mr. Feather... I mean, Sonny. Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today. Except drink. But tell me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. Thought so. Hey, does she now just stand in our place and doesn't go away? Light switch. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid. But I think I'm going to end up dead in here, whether I like it or not. Yeah. 
My last six. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Blood Boil took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Just in case. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. So it's a click and point? Noir. Grimmy game? Oder? I think that's all my impression now. I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. I need it. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is gonna stay there forever. Okay. This? Are you club? How can we go there? Film noir with animals as adventure, yeah. So here we have the different people. And I have phone maybe. Louis number 555932. 5 Oh. 5 So who who remembers this nice phones? So they were great. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? No, 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 no. Of course not, Sonny. Old friend, what's up? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. The Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive cute. Miss Ibanez home? <laughs> oh, the I have some things to take care of. Of course, Sonny. <clears throat> you know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, Ben. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. I hope you not remember. Now, if you are younger, you probably don't know this phones. Telephones. How's it called? Rotary, rotary phones. If you are younger, then I think you missed them. Oh, I always liked them. I found it really cool. Scene types. Main scenes. Main scenes move to the story forward. These scenes also determine which locations op open up or close down. Need to complete all of these if you want to beat the game. Limited scenes. Limited scenes are open for a specific duration, which is determined by the main story progression. If you are a completionist, be sure to visit all of them before you move to the next main scene. Closed scenes cannot be reached for the time being. This state will often change throughout the story progression and can be temporary or permanent. Top tip, pick the next main scene if you are absolutely sure you don't want to visit any of the available limited scenes anymore. You may not be able to visit them later. Youngins forgot, yeah. I still I still have my cassettes. Yeah, cassettes are really nice, oder? They were really useful. I don't know, cassettes are making a bit of a comeback. I'm seeing a lot of music being released on cassette radio. Oh, really? Alessira? That's cool. I, I always found them nice. And they were also, you know, com compared to a CD, 
of course on a CD you can put much more data, but the CD goes it went much more kaput than a cassette. And for a cassette you just needed a pencil to fix it. That was nice. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, cool. As I know that LPs are getting over the last years are getting really popular again. Um, and many games, for example, put theirs, also not all, but many games put, uh, make soundtracks again on LPs. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work, but still, it didn't feel any different. Every day was the same, and the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show, with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. In the meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but our sanity, while others, the smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. And then there's Marty. My ex-partner, who hates me, but I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? Up to one. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. Okay, uh, I think we stop now. So, uh, overall, I think as a graphics and stuff, really cool. Also, the voice acting is really, really nice. Um, I could imagine, as we have to like this type of game, you know, this um, detective, click and point, story adventure. Um, I think as it looks like really well made and in depth, um, I also like this animation and stuff that you open um, offer or the map or your book and uh, it seems to go you know like um, yeah doing a really good job also you know that if you have all these people and all informations um, yeah it's really really cool 